over the weekend in Columbus, we just had the she's like running through our town. And I saw that. Done. I saw. You know what's funny? Yeah. It, it's there's nothing funny about this, but it's interesting you mentioned that. Mm-hmm. And I hate I hate to even bring this up, but a moron, who I used mm-hmm. to know, who I used to work with, and he's a moron, took a picture of those, and yeah. claimed that they were Antifa, and they were just trying to make Republicans look bad. Now, obviously, there's no evidence to prove something like that. But I find it very interesting because a normal reaction, and you tell me if you disagree, a normal reaction when somebody sees a a decent, normal human being would say, gosh, that's terrible. That's horrible. Same thing with the Confederate flag. When a normal, decent person sees a Confederate flag, doesn't matter what the color of their skin is. They'll say, geez, that represents racism. That's bigotry. That's terrible, right? But when a racist sees something like that or a bunch of their first reaction Mm -hmm. is to blame the left for it. Because that's yep. what a bigoted race, that's how a bigoted racist Trump supporter reacts. When you and yep. I see a Nazi sign or something, we, the first thing that comes to our mind usually is, oh my God, that's deplorable. That's terrible. We have to, we can't condone that behavior. But, right. when, a, but when a racist sees something like that, they just want to blame the Democrats or George Soros. Yeah. It, it's just, it's so, yep. I'm so glad that I don't have to work with people like that anymore. Anyway, I digress. Go ahead. <laughs> no, and, and that's the point. You know, these are people who, I may work with or my, you know, my friends, we, you know, we may work with. And the governor who is Governor DeWine, he just made a statement on uh, Facebook basically, hey, we won't have this hate in Ohio. Right. But that was it. And our question to him, what are you going to do? You know, right. What? Because this is not the first time this happened here a couple of months ago in Springfield. You know, right. and all that. You had the Proud Boys well, there. They were there well, you know, it's a, I didn't yeah. see a lot of this stuff under the Obama. You know, I didn't see a lot of this stuff until Donald Trump took office. I didn't see, I didn't yep. hear a lot from the Proud Boys or the Oath Keepers. We didn't have an insurrection. Mm-hmm. Uh, white supremacy, uh, it seems to be getting, becoming more popular ever since Donald Trump uh, took the oath of office. So, um, you know, again, if you listen to idiots like Tucker Carlson, he'll say the idea of mm-hmm. white supremacy is a hoax. Yeah, it's because Tucker Carlson is a white supremacist sympathizer. And you see these people on social media, the Charlie Kirks of the world, the Jack Posobiecs of the world. Why are they always white? Right. They're always white. It seems like there are so many white people that will say, yep. stand back and stand by. Can you imagine yep. if Barack Obama was talking about black per- mm-hmm. supremacists? Because there are some mm-hmm. black supremacists out there. Can you imagine mm-hmm. if Barack Obama talked about black supremacists on a debate stage and said, stand mm-hmm. back and stand by? Can you imagine what Republicans would say about that? Oh, they would have fell out. He would have never been our president. Exactly. I mean, it would have been all kind of things would have happened. So it's right. a double standard. I agree with a whole everything that you say. And I just wanted to say thank you. Continue what you're oh, doing. Thank you, dear. That and means I a will lot. call in again. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Thank you, have my dear. Good, good to hear from you. Thank you so much. You got these these that are that are that are marching in Ohio. And you've got idiots on the right that are saying, oh, well, they're just Democrats. They're Antifa. I heard the same crap after the January 6th insurrection. I was working with a dope who said that January 6th, Antifa was responsible for it. It, it's, it's, It's unbelievable. And the person who I was working with at the time didn't even show up the next day, the day after the insurrection. You can't speak common sense and you can't have conversations with these people because, quite frankly, their IQ is way too low. They're very stupid. They have hatred in their heart. And people say, I'm full of anger. I'm full of anger because I speak the truth and I'm I'm passionate. I'm a passionate person. And I speak the truth and I'm on the right side of history. I defend the LGBT community. I defend transgenders. I defend minorities. I defend people that don't look like me. That's not hatred. That's not anger. That's passion. And unfortunately, people don't know what true anger is. Anger are the people that were screaming, hang Mike Pence on January 6th. That's anger. Anger are the people that are anti-gay, that call all gay people sinners. That's anger. 
Anger are the people that attacked police officers and beat them with their own batons on January 6th. That's anger. Anger are the people that showed up to Donald Trump rallies with their Confederate flags, F Joe and the Ho signs. That's anger. What I bring to this show every day is passion. You might not agree with every single one of my opinions, but I am a passionate person. And if you don't like it, you can go fly a kite. I don't care.